Hello friends, so welcome back to my channel Mukesh English and this is Mukesh Soni. Friends, in this video, we shall have the discussion of the question paper of second semester BCom BBA Bangalore University that is 2023 question paper, 2023 examination question paper. We are going to have discussion here. Second semester BCom BBA generic English NEP syllabus under BCU Bangalore North Uni I'm sorry, Bangalore City University. So let's begin the discussion. The very uh, the whole question paper is divided into the two sections. Section A here refers to the workbook, which has the weightage for 40 marks. In the section B refers to the course book, uh, which refers to 20 marks. And the course book consists here six questions. So now to begin with section A workbook for the 40 marks. And here the question paper begins here. The very first question that is going to be asked here Read the following passage and answer the questions set on it. So a passage is given here. You need to read the passage carefully. If one time, two times until you understand. And you need to answer the five questions which are set on it. So you can pause the video and you can read the passage. This is the second part. This is the second part of the passage. You can pause the video and you can go through it. So like this, you'll be given here five questions, few questions in the MCQ type, the multiple choice questions, and the few questions will be one of the two lines questions, where one of the questions may be asked about the suitable title for the passage. So this is how you need to answer five questions based on the comprehension passage. Now, the second question, <clears throat> do as directed. The second question is has the title do as directed, which has few questions based on it, which has few questions here. The, num the very first question is here. Choose the correct synonym for the words given below. So there are two words are given. One is a compassionate, one is in it. So for compassionate, there are three words, exception, sympathetic, legal. So synonym means to say the words which have the same meaning, similar meaning. So when we find the word compassionate has the same meaning, which word has the same meaning here out of three? Sympathetic. So compassionate and sympathetic have the same meaning. So answer is here, sympathetic. Similarly, the word in it, in it has the same meaning among three words, excellent, dull, and inborn. So the word in it has a similar meaning as inborn. So the synonym of compassionate is sympathetic. In it, uh, the synonym of the word in it is here, inborn. So that is for two marks. Now the next question we have here, antonym. <clears throat> choose the correct antonym for the words given below. Antonym means to say the opposite meaning. The word idle has the opposite meaning hardworking, untrained or efficient. So which words, which words have the opposite of, are the, are the, have the opposite meaning of idle? That is efficient. The opposite of idle is the efficient. Similarly, the opposite of accomplished is the unfinished. Out of the three words we have identified here, the opposite of or the antonym of the word accomplished is unfinished. So like this, the words will be given. You need to identify the antonym or the synonym of the given word. So that is for two marks. So synonym, two marks, antonym, two marks. Now moving further, the next question under do is directed. You have here, add the suitable prefix, uh, sorry, affixes to the words given in the brackets and fill in the blanks. So affixes means what? Prefix or affix. So here when we, uh, so we need to find here what is a prefix or affix suitable for fill, the eventual, create, mature. So this is for two marks. We have here for two marks. That means one, two, three, four, each for half mark. So four uh, affixes will be given here. So for the fill, it will become here to fulfill. And so full is the prefix for eventual, eventually, right? For mature, immature, for create, creative. So what is a prefix? Uh, what is a affix for full, fill, fulfill? For eventual, eventually, ly, suffix, mature, immature, im is a prefix, create, creative, iv is the suffix. So when we, when we add here prefix or suffix, we need to keep in the mind, it should be the meaningful. For example, to fulfill these goals, there must be a sort of plan in order to reach these goals eventually. 
I have made same some goals for my life, although my goals are immature. As an engineer, being creative is necessary. So we have seen here these words which are uh, which are added with the pre prefix or affix uh, become the meaningful words which gives a meaning to the given passage. So this is how you have affixes for the two marks. Four affixes will be given here. You need to add here prefix or suffix. Suitable, not simply. Then we have the next question we have here. Construct two sentences each for the homonym band in different contexts. So one homonym is given here. The word is one homonym is given here, band. So what is the meaning of homonym? First try to understand. Homonyms are the words which have the same spelling and the same pronunciation, but different meaning. Got it now? Same spelling it has and the same pronunciation, but it has different meaning. So we need to write this homonym band, this homonym band here in the two different sentences and both the different sentences, the band will, will be having some two different meanings. So let us see how. So the very first word, the band was playing old Beatles song. So, right. They banded together to oust the chairman. They banded together to oust the cha chairman. So this band is a, as a noun and banded it's here as a verb. So the meaning differs here. It's a band. It's about an object. Here banded means to say compile or make them together, right? So like this, you need to make the two sentences of the same word having the two different meanings. That's the meaning of homonym here. That's for two marks. Each sentence will be having one mark. Next, we have here, write a suitable homophone for the word rain, R-E-I-G-N. So what is the meaning of homophone? Again, homophone, the words which have the same pronunciation, but different meanings as well as different spelling. So R-E-G-I-N, rain. So we find the same word with the, we find a word with the same pronunciation, pronunciation that is R-A-I-N. That is for one mark. Next question, identify the proper collocation in the following pairs. So you have here, one is the right collocation and one is the wrong collocation. Right. So what is the meaning of collocation? Collocations are the other pair of words which go together, which go together. For example, strong coffee, right? We, we Strong coffee, we never say heavy coffee. We always say strong coffee. So with coffee, strong is the, is all, that always go together. It's a pair of words. So in this case here, take medicine or drink medicine. Obviously we can't drink medicine. So the regular uh, verbal communication or the regular English, we always say here as a take medicine, we never say drink medicine. So the proper collocation we have here, take medicine, that's for one mark. Next, we have five questions, do as directed. We have a question from article, preposition, and the words, for a word, the proper word, then the punctuation we have, then we have correct the error in the sentence. So which is latest tower in India. So correction is here. I'm sorry, the article is here, which is the latest uh, tower in India. So I have already given the answer here, which is the latest, the is the correct answer. They walked out the class at 9.30 a.m. The suitable preposition. A country with 4 million blank, many leaders. What do they require? Requires many leaders. The country with 4 million dollars for million requires many leaders so use the correct tense of the word so i forgot to, to type here the word will be given here so require the word was given so the correct answer is here requires okay so now punctuate the sentence so when you punctuate here the words apostrophe most famous clock big bang stands next to the house of parliament h capital p capital london l capital and full stop anita is loving rabbits Anita is loving rabbits. So what's the correction here? Anita loves rabbits. I'm sorry, you may not be able to see this one. So what's the answer here? Anita loves rabbits. So this is how you have here five questions based on article, preposition, vocabulary, punctuation, and the correction in the sentence. Moving ahead, 
next question we have here reported speech so we have we have here uh, five sentences and we need to change those uh, direct speech into the indirect speech so the answer is here very first question she said she went she went to swimming today she said she went swim i'm sorry she 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 said she went swimming today so she said that she had gone for swimming that day why had gone the it's in the past tense so when we convert into indirect speech the past tense will become past perfect tense today will will change into the that day second question the soldier said what is the cost of all these birds the soldier asked why it's in the question what the cost of all these birds so when you convert into the indirect speech the question next to immediately next to the wh word there should be the there should not be the verb this verb will go at the end what the cost of all these birds was not is because it's in the past tense said so it will become here was convert into was not change not convert radha said that she had been waiting for krishna so i here refers to radha pronoun, uh, the pronoun she had been will become here had been in the past tense had been waiting for krishna he said he will be in paris on monday he said that he would be in paris on monday last question said sham don't worry if the reporting work come to the right side doesn't matter sham said that he worked hard he i'm sorry he had worked hard because it's in the past tense when we change the past tense it will become a past perfect tense he had worked hard here many students get the they they get zero marks they just copy he worked hard no the past tense will change into the past perfect tense okay you can watch my video on a uh, reported speech and you can see all the videos links in the description box i have completed all the grammar videos just have a look in the description box you will get the grammar videos lessons videos the lessons question answers lesson summary everything is available in the description box or in the playlist okay after this advertisement of my, of my channel uh, we are moving to the next question okay next question we have here you need to complete the dialogue between the two friends and the situation is given here between friends they are going to have a discussion to go to zoo so the situation is given and based on the situation you need to create the dialogue and there is for three marks so according to me when i go through it i found here i find here rohit is asking what are your plans on this weekend this one how do you like the idea of going to zoo this one that sounds uh, next one that sounds good but i need my parents permission okay later then he say will your parents be at home in the evening like this okay so you need to think you need to plan that based on the previous dialogue you need to plan what discussion might be having between the two friends based on the given given situation so filling the dialogues for the three marks now we are moving to the next question answer the following questions in a one of the two sentences now here you have two questions only two questions from the topic communication you have a very small topic in the workbook uh, verbal communication non verbal communication what is the meaning of communication skills what's the meaning of verbal communication skills non verbal communication skills advantages and the disadvantages of verbal or the non verbal communication so compulsory questions to without any choice so in this question paper they asked uh, mention any two advantages of oral communication so immediate feedback interaction engaging the audience then what is non verbal communication non verbal communication is the transmission of messages or signals through a non verbal platform such as eye contact facial expression gestures posture use of objects or we can say the body language so that's a compulsory question for two marks each for one mark next uh, we have next question is here you need to change a passage into the passive voice active to passive so here they are not going to ask you the sub, the sentence wise they'll ask you in a passive voice a kind of incident will be given you need to change into the passive voice 
So when we change it to passive voice, what do we do here? We use the helping verb plus verbs third form or the past participle. This is a mantra for passive voice. Helping verb plus plus past participle. Let us see how. First, let's read this passage. The studio manager canceled the contract. They hid behind their stoic lawyers who passed the message down. The lawyers used the words like ironclad and the final notice. The actors raised their voices. They struggled to keep their emotions in check. What's the answer? The contract was cancelled by the studio managers. Um, right? So, was cancelled by whom? The studio managers. The stoic law lawyers who were hidden behind the were hidden behind the stoic lawyers were hidden behind who passed the message down. They hid behind their stoic they hid behind their stoic lawyers. They hid behind the stoic lawyers. Okay. The stoic lawyers were behind who passed the message down. I, I, I think so it's correct. They hid behind their stoic lawyers who passed the message down. They hid behind the stoic. Okay, there uh, the stoic lawyers were, were hidden behind who passed the message down. Correct. The words like ironclad or final notice were used by the lawyers. Voices were raised by the actors. And the last sentence we cannot change. They struggle to keep the emotions in check. We can't say the emotions were kept. No, that's not a correct answer. So that we have to keep the same the sentence as it is. So this is how the we need to convert active to passive voice for five marks. Next question is very important question. You have here welcome speech or vote of thanks. So situation you have to need you have to read very carefully. You have invited an eminent educationist as the chief guest for the sports day in your college. Prepare a welcome speech using the profile given below. So you need not worry. You already have a profile of the guest. Name is here. DOB is here. Place of birth, education, qualification, achievements, etc. So based on this profile, you can prepare the welcome speech. So you have one sample answer. Good morning, everyone. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome the chief guest for our sports day. Mr. Jawagal Srinath, who was born on 31st August 1969 in Jawagal. He has a Bachelor of Engineering degree in instrumentation from SJCE in Mysore. He's a former, he, he's the former cricketer and currently an ICC match referee. He's considered among India's finest fast, uh, fast bowlers. He has played I'm sorry, spelling error. He has played, P-L-A-Y-E-D, he has played 67 test matches and 229 one-day matches. He has taken 236 wickets in test matches and 325 wickets in one day. He has also been awarded, awarded Arjuna Award. Sir, we are fortunate to have you with us. I once again welcome you on this great occasion. Thank you. So, it's a simple answer. Your answer may be different, but obviously we have to keep the profile in our mind so next question we have again we have choice for this question here prepare a word of thanks for the same occasion as mentioned above for the same occasion you can prepare the word of thanks simple answer good morning everyone it's my privilege to render word of thanks on the occasion of annual sports day to being with to i'm sorry to begin with spelling error to begin with i would like to extend my Thankful note to our chief guest, Mr. Jawagal Srinath. Thank you, sir, for accepting our invitation to very short notice. Your presence, your, your presence has brought why O U R, your presence has brought a new energy among our students. We are thankful to our beloved principal, Dr. Ram Sharma, for motivating us to conduct such programs. We extend our thankful note to our HODs for the unconditional support and encouraging us to promote uh, the sports day, I'm sorry, you need to correct here, sports sports day uh, to promote such kind of activities, sports, literature, etc. Thank you, sir. I must thank all the faculty members who have helped us to conduct this program successfully. I should not forget to thank the student coordinator, coordinators who have supported us from the uh, inception of this club, sports club. 
Thank you once again. So it's just a simple answer. You can correct it or you can also prepare your own word of things. Right. So this is how this is how we have discussed here. 40 marks questions from the workbook. 40 marks questions from the workbook. Now we are going to have a discussion. The 20 marks questions from the textbook or from the course book. Okay. You have here six chapters. Don't forget. So here the course book questions are divided into the three sections. One, one mark, five questions and five marks, one questions and 10 mark, one questions. So one mark, five mark, 10 mark. So next we have here answer any five questions out of six in a one word or in a phrase, one for each mark, uh, sorry, one mark for each question. So first question, what kind of freedom does Tagore claim for his motherland? Freedom from fear. Meena Bindra's husband arranged for a loan for her to start her business from syndicate bank. True or false? It is true. Third question. What was the last thing to be sold by Charles Chaplin's mother? The trunk of theatrical costumes. Fourth question. Beautiful things never pass into nothingness means that they, option C, never fade away. Next where had the swallow's friends gone away to? Swallow's friends gone away to Egypt to save themselves from approaching winter. Whom are the inhabitants? Who are the, I'm sorry, who are the inhabitants? Whom are the inhabitants of Sundarbans waiting for? The inhabitants of Sundarbans, they were waiting for the minister. So like this, out of six, opt only five. Next question, out of three questions, you need to opt to one question. You have choice and each question has a weightage for one, uh, sorry, for the five marks. So only one question for five marks. Write a note on Charles Chaplin's brother, Sidney. Sidney Chaplin, the older half-brother of Charles Chaplin, played a significant role in Charles' early life as detailed in Charlie Chaplin's autobiography, Born to their mother before her marriage to Charles' father, Sidney was four years older than Charles and was a constant presence during their childhood. Charles fondly recalls their moderately comfortable early years in Lambeth, where they lived in tastefully furnished rooms. Sidney, being the elder brother, often engaged in playful activities that fascinated young Charles. So Sidney is the eldest one. One memorable, one memorable incident involved Sidney performing a magic trick that inspired Charles to imitate him, leading to Charles swallow, swallow, swallowing a half penny and necessitating to visit the doctor. So he imitated him and he swallowed the half penny and they had to rush to the they had to rush to doctor. Their mother, a uh, sobriety on the variety stage ensured Sydney and Charles had a loving and nurturing environment. Despite the challenges they faced, she would have treats for them to find in the morning and took pride in dressing them up for Sunday's excursions. Sydney's presence during these formative years was a source of companionship and brotherly influence for Charles. At the mother's health and career decline, the family circumstances worsened was worsened or got more worst, moving from comfortable accommodation to increasingly drab neighborhoods. Despite these hardships, the bond between Sydney and Charles remained strong. Their mother's efforts to provide for them and her efforts to return to the stage were witnessed by both the brothers, highlighting the resilience and unity within the family. Even uh, Sydney also used to sell the newspapers to help the family. Thus, Sidney Chaplin was a significant figure in Charles' early life, providing companionship, inspiration, and a sense of stability during their challenging upbringing. That's the role of Sidney. Second question, beauty helps us during the darkest days of our life. Explain the statement with reference to the poem, Endymion. In the poem, and in Yon, beauty helps us during the darkest days of our life by providing a source of comfort, joy, and inspiration. The poet conveys this statement, he proves this statement by using the following images, which are the images, a bower, quiet, and sweet sleep. You can pause the video, and you can read, flowery band, then 
sun, moon, trees, daffodils, clear rills, and forest break. Then grandeur of the mighty dead and lovely tales. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Endless fountain of immortal drink. So you can pause the video and you can go through the explanation of each and every image that's going to support the answer of this question. Next question we have here. How does the poem Sundar Burns highlight the misery of the oppressed and the conflict between humans and tigers? So the speaker ironically asked the visitor by whom he was sent to Kolkata. He says that the tourists come to have a glance of tiger, not the locals or the inhabitants of these jungles. They witness crocodile, hental, sundari trees, mangrove and pen. They write the poetry on the colorful leaves. He reflects that their lives always remain untouched by the ink and remain unnoticed by the people as well as the government. They struggle with the orange peels thrown by the visitors. The poet comments on the fascinating feelings of people when they witness the tiger, that is the royal tiger of Bengal. But no one knows about the people who became the victim of this tiger like Haripada, Subal, Fateh Ali and so on. Subal's wife hanged herself last year. She could not bear the fangs of hunger. They waited for the minister and the minister promised the Sundarbans will transform. The speaker pleads. He said, our stomachs are full with the brine water from flood. And the speaker has rightly remarked the hypocrisy of human beings saying, we wait for the minister to come. He came once a year ago, promised the Sundarbans will transform. We beg you, sir, go tell him kindly. Our stomachs are full with the brine water from brain water from flood. Now we have the 10 marks question from the question paper 2023. And friends, I have done the videos on all the topics of second sem become BB Genetic English. Just have a look in the description box. You'll get the grammar topics videos. You'll get all these six lessons, summaries videos, and all the question answers videos. And 2022 examination solved QP model question paper solved the solved model question paper also. So all the videos are available in the description box. The links are available, you can watch. Now we have the, out of three questions, you need to opt one question that is for 10 marks. So plenty of choices you have. How does Rabindranath Tagore bring out the idea of bondage and, friend and freedom in the poem Freedom? Tagore's poem Freedom was written during the colonial era when his country was in servitude to the British rulers. Through writing this poem, Tagore wanted to make his countrymen realize what freedom really means. This poem was written in the late 19th century. He firmly opposed British imperialism and supported the Indian nationalist. His views on nationalism were recorded in this poem. At the time, he was in his 20s. Later, he was disillusioned with the form of nationalism in India and became an ardent supporter of internationalism. Tagore's poem Freedom is an impassioned address to his motherland, India. It explores the importance of freedom and it also speaks of the oppression and torture that his motherland faced during the colonial era. Tagore portrays the suffering of his countrymen by personifying the country. He projects it as a woman who is bossed down, who is bossed down by the burden of shame and subjugation. Through this poem, the poet expresses his idea of the complete freedom of Indians on both internal and external levels. He wants a country where people are not only free from enslavement, but also able to think freely. Tagore wants to convey a harsh yet important message to his, uh, to his countrymen he shows them the blindness and ignorance to the fact that they are playing mere puppets at the hands of the, their colonial masters. In order to be free, they need to be original in their thinking. They must stop blindly obeying those who made their motherland suffer. The enslavement of his countrymen to the imperial rulers is reflected in the phrase, burden of ages. 
Tagore's motherland has been bearing this burden of shame and servitude for nearly a century. The poet wants to free his motherland from the burden of the ages since it has made her bow her head and damaged her back. It's a reference to the effect of the colonial rule on his motherland. He wants to see his country in its previous glorious state. Tagore describes how his countrymen are deaf to the clarion call of the future in the phrase in the phrase beckoning call of beckoning call of future. Their hopelessness and blind servitude to the colonial masters have made them deaf to the future's call. According to Tagore, freedom of the self comes when one is free from the shackles of ignorance and blind obedience to the masters. The poet visualizes a state of total freedom of his countrymen on a mental, spiritual, and political level. So this is how you have to write the 10 mark square answer. Minimum two pages you should write, then you will be able to get the best marks. Second question for 10 marks. Write about Meena Bindra as a business person and her family's contribution towards making Biba a brand. Before Biba came into existence, Meena Bindra led the life of, a, of an ordinary homemaker, shouldering many responsibilities while raising her two sons, Sanjay and Siddharth. Born and raised in Delhi, Meena embarked on a journey that would revolutionize the ethnic wear segment and establish her as a pioneer in the field of this field. She graduated from Miranda House College, University of Delhi. A typical Navy wife throughout the most of her life, married at the age of 20, Mrs. Bindra, Meena Bindra, decided to start selling simple cotton printed suits from her home at the very ripe age of 40, 39, 40, without any official training or any expertise. When the kids were all grown up, she had nothing to do. And however, the road to launching her venture was not without any challenges. The biggest hurdle for Meena was arranging funds and she had no money, she had no bank account of her own. Her husband came forward and he helped her to get a loan of 8,000 rupees from Syndicate Bank and which was a seed capital for her business and thus Biba was born in 1988. Meena Bindra stepped into the entrepreneurial world when ready-made churidar kurtas were still a novelty and sourcing fabric was a very tough task. With her originality and talent, she gained a first mover advantage and quickly caught the attention of buyers. Her dresses received immense appreciation from women of all ages and overnight, Meena Bindra became a popular name in the fashion industry. And her business started to flourish. Meena faced the challenges of managing marketing, finances, planning, and various other crucial aspects. It was during this time that Mumbai's esteemed fashion store, Benzel, came into the picture. Benzel provided Meena Bindra with a much needed opportunity to showcase her products outside the confines of her home. Since its inception, Biba has witnessed remarkable growth in the clothing industry. The brand now boosts more than 180 outlets across 76 cities in India and can be found in 275 multi-brand outlets. As of now, Biba Apparel's annual turnover is estimated to be around rupees 650 crores. The turning point of Biba was when her, when her younger son Siddharth had joined Biba after graduating from Harvard University in 2002. At that time, the turnover is more than 25 crores. Her younger son Siddharth has made a clear vision. What was, what was his vision? That they should have their own outlets. That was a vision. They have built their first outlets where they have made a profit of rupees 12 lakh per month. Siddharth used to handle management and funding. By the time of 2012, the revenue of Biba raised till rupees 300 crores. So that's the story of Biba. Third question, the last question for 10 marks for this question paper. Examine the role of friendship and compassion in the story, The, the Happy Prince. 
The story of the Happy Prince is a touching and allegorical tale that takes place in a city where a magnificent statue of the Happy Prince stands tall on a high column. The Happy Prince is adorned with fine gold, sapphire eyes and a ruby on his sword hilt. He is great, greatly admired by the townspeople for his beauty. However, the statue is not just a beautiful piece of art. It possesses a compassionate heart. The happy prince's eyes fill with tears as he observes the suffering of the poet in the city. He cannot bear the misery of the people and wishes to help them. A kind-hearted swallow arrives in the city on its way to Egypt, but decides to stay for one more night with the happy prince. The swallow is moved by the happy prince's concern for the suffering in the city and agrees to be his messenger. Together, they begin to perform the acts of charity. The swallow plucks the happy prince's gold leaves and give, gives them to the poor and the needy in the city, providing them much needed relief. Despite the cold and impending winter, the swallow stays by the prince's side, even when the prince requests that the swallow plucks out his sapphire eyes to help a starving seamstress and a struggling playwright. The swallow, compi the swallow, com the swallow complies, co complies and knowing that these uh, the, the swallow complies and knowing that these sel selfless acts will bring comfort to those people in need. As the winter sets in, the swallow's strength comes down and, and the swallow, the bird, eventually dies from the harsh conditions. However, his sacrifice and kindness have not gone unnoticed. God impressed, God was impressed by the swallow's selflessness. God decides to honor the bird in his garden of paradise, where the swallow will sing eternally. Additionally, the happy prince's broken lead heart is found alongside the dead swallow. God decides that his city of gold, the happy prince, shall praise him forevermore. So that's the answer for this question. The story beautifully explores the themes of compassion, selflessness, and the contrast between the material wealth and the value of helping others in need. It's a poignant and thought-provoking tale that reminds us of the importance of empathy and kindness in a world filled with suffering. So friends, this is how we have solved the question paper 2023, second sem become BBA generic English. Let's have a glance once again how the marks have been given. Passage 5 marks, synonym 2 marks, antonyms 2 marks, affix, affix 2 marks, homonym 2 marks, homophone 1 mark, collocation 1 mark, articles proportion correct from the word, punctuation, sentence error 5 marks, reported speech 5 marks. Dialogue completion, three marks. Passive voice, five marks. Verbal, non-verbal communication questions, two marks. Welcome speech, a word of things, five marks. Then 20 marks questions from the six lessons where you'll be asked here. One mark, five questions, five marks, one question, and 10 marks, one question. So that's a blueprint of this question paper. So friends, this is how I try to solve the question paper 2023, second sem BCOM, BB Jandik English under BCU. I tried my best, and uh, for more reference, for more on, for the uh, with, uh, you should refer to the textbook to get the detailed answer. It was just uh, a sample answers, and friends, just look into the description box. You will find all the videos links in the description box. Go through the playlist. So I hope you have liked this video. Click on the like button. Write in the comment box. Share this video to your friends. Subscribe the channel if you are not yet subscribed. Please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. I wish you good luck for the forthcoming examination. Stay tuned with Mukesh English.